So my name is J.R. Logan, and I'm going to give you a quick tour of Makehaven. So let's go in. So first of all, we have our little kitchen here. Um, inside, we have equipment for pressure canning, sous vide. We have uh, a dehydrator, all sorts of stuff. Not a commercial kitchen, but an experimental maker kitchen. Uh, as you come along here, past our coffee and tea section, we have the herbs. This is a brewing prototyping kit or setup. Uh, past that, we have a small conference room where we have various pieces of video equipment appropriate for doing like a Kickstarter video, that sort of thing. Over here, we have a uh, printmaking area. We have uh, screen printing and various printing presses. Uh, in fact, in our main community area, there's a class working on a wood type uh, printmaking uh, project right now. And we hold classes and activities in this area quite frequently. As you come over here, you see that we have uh, lots of 3D printing examples and a whole cadre, a whole grouping of uh, 3D printers, including a filament splicer, which is fun. It allows you to use multiple colors and multiple materials. Moving further on, you can see we have a communications bench. This is where we might put servers, but we have ham radio, uh, we have some antennas up on the roof, uh, anything using electromagnetic waves or um, you know, signals to send communications. Over here we have our craft sewing area. Uh, we have a variety of different sewing machines, uh, including some old school ones, which some people prefer as an important power to them. Uh, and we have lots of craft uh, equipment that we pull out. So, Things for glass cutting, for bottles, for stained glass, uh, soap making, other other equipment like that. Uh, our electronics and workbench. You'll notice there's lots of drones. There's examples of boards people have made here, uh, and there's a whole set of components used for prototyping and working with electronics and soldering. Uh, further up, we have. Uh, CNC machine, which is used for uh, milling metal, and then beyond that are these laser cutters, and uh, they are awesome for being able to cut out very precise pieces of wood. They're doing a little session there, so uh, we'll pass by quickly, but I'll point out where the examples are. And then we have vinyl cutting, which is where you cut a thin uh, membrane of plastic or vinyl. It's used for all these signs, it's great for masking. There's lots of awesome things you can do with vinyl, including um, cutting flexible circuits. You see there's an example of a flexible circuit uh, over there. So let's move forward. You can see the examples on that shelf. Uh, some wood cut things, also for precision. Uh, This being machine does it. As we go forward, this is a quilting CNC machine, so it, it can be programmed to uh, make a quilt or a section of a quilt design. We have a mechanics and uh, a lot of bike repair equipment, folks interested in that. And then we have a plastics area. So this is a vacuum former, which makes thin uh, sheets and forms those sheets. Uh, into a specific shape. We have a resin printer, awesome for really detailed 3D prints, a little injection molder, uh, casting equipment, so the casting pots you're generally using, uh, like a silicone rubber, uh, and then doing something in plastic, uh, and all that is done in this section. I'm going to take us into the wood shop with my safety goggles on. So in the wood shop, we have a whole hand tool and general portable tools area. Uh, you can see a member here working on a very cool project incorporating wood and resin. Uh, as you come over here, uh, you see that we are a selection of uh, really fine hand tools. And uh, this bench, as well as another bench that we're building, uh, which was made by one of our members and allows people to do a lot of uh, precision hand tool work. Beyond that, 
Uh, we have all of the standard tools you'd expect in a, a wood shop. You see a table router, sander, drill press, uh, multiple band saws, a planer for smoothing out your wood, a uh, lathe for making turned shapes, uh, a jointer for getting that first, uh, first right angle or starting the process of preparing your, your wood, a saw stop, table saw. Uh, which means that it has that mechanism which allows it to recognize the fingers there and immediately stop. Uh, chop saw, we have a small CNC router, so that means it's programmable. You can put whatever shape in it via the computer and it will cut it out for you. And then we have a uh, big daddy version of that, uh, which we can program to do up to eight by uh, four or five feet uh, as far as a project, which is awesome for being able to do furniture scale work. So that uh, gives you a brief tour of Make Haven, the fab lab and makerspace here in New Haven, Connecticut.